My next guest needs no introduction, but I'll give him a quick one here anyways. He is the president and co-founder of World Series of Fighting. Ray Seppo joins me here on the program. Ray, how are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me. No problem. Thank you for joining me. And uh, one thing I've always wanted to know about you, Ray, uh, people know your established uh, you know, kickboxing career and MMA career. At what point in your career did you sort of have the idea to come up with becoming a promoter and, and you know, create your own uh, promotion? I actually, uh, it was something that I thought about, I want to say, early 2011. And uh, probably halfway through that year, I mentioned it to my former co-partner at the time. And then I think it was, uh, I want to say, nine months later, uh, this came up again. And um, it, But even then, the, the first time I kind of, you know, mentioned it uh, to my buddy, um, it was more, you know, it was more kind of like seeing what he thought as well. Uh, and there was really no thought uh, too much about it at the time. And so I kind of just, you know, because I was still competing. And then I uh, sort of, when I say competing, I, I was kind of, instead of fighting, you know, four or five fights a year, I was thinking I was fighting two fights a year. And so, you know, I was still kind of focusing on that. And then I woke up one morning and I just said, you know what? This is something that I really want to do, and um, you know, I think uh, it'll be a great opportunity for me to uh, create something and also give fighters an opportunity, you know, and another stage to uh, you know uh, to perform on. And so, uh, I you know, I kind of got all put together, and I brought it up to him again, and he was all for it. And so, it took us probably, I want to say eight months to kind of really put the whole team together and um and then you know our first show happened and then you know obviously throughout uh, so a few changes were made and um here we are and i you know and again you know like i said from day one for us it was about challenging ourselves to continue to uh, get better and um uh, challenge you know ourselves to uh make the right decisions um you know, at the time and, and as we move forward. Yeah, and it's hard to believe that first show, World Series of Fighting 1, November 3rd, 2012, headlined by Andre Arlovsky against Devin Cole. Um, does, how, does that seem like an eternity for you? I mean, it, it seems like it wasn't that long ago, you know, to be honest. Yeah, you know, it's, it's funny you say that because it does seem like a very long time ago, but it, it's less than uh, four years, you know what I mean? And so... Um, but yeah, and especially because Andre is, you know, uh, has gone on and done amazing things at UFC, and um, a, as well as Anthony Johnson, and so, you know, it's so good to see those guys really, you know, um, not only showing the best they have, but also really climb the ladder to uh, where they were. You know what I mean? Here we are uh, coming up here, October seventh. You got your thirty third show. You know, looking back on on the history of World Series of Fighting, are you have you been pretty uh, satisfied with the progression your promotion has made? You know, starting from that first show all the way up to what we got here on October seventh. Yeah. Uh, yes. Absolutely. Um, I think the team, uh, not only here at World Series of Fighting, but our team in terms of our, our fighters and our roster and fighters that have, you know, locally that uh, in the areas that we've gone to, I think everybody's, you know, has done a tremendous job to uh, get to where we are today, and I think we're. We're um, moving forward and continuing to grow. Absolutely, I'd agree with that. Now, every promotion has their challenges, uh, you know, whether it's fighters, whether it's other things. Um, I know some fighters have competed for World Series of Fighting. You know, they haven't been happy. They've been kind of vocal about it. I know also you had to go through, you know, the challenging aspect with Ali Abdelz, where, there, you know, there's criticism with your promotion. And, you know, Ali's, Ali's not with the promotion anymore. Uh, you know, some of the fighters aren't with the promotion anymore. You know, how was it dealing with all of that? Um, you know, just going from, you know, being a fighter yourself to, you know, having to deal with, you know, criticism and, and things of that nature. I mean, you know, obviously nobody wants to be criticized, you know, uh, or nobody wants to be talked about negatively. And so, um, you know, at the time, things were, changes were made. And um, again, like I said, uh, it, just like anything in life, you know, <laughs> sometimes you hit uh, bumps along the way, but that's, that's what uh, makes you a better person and makes you a better company. And so you just um, make those changes and, and keep moving forward positively. Well, and, and I'd say it, things have gone positively. You know, you're seeing uh, fighters, you know, flock to your organization as far as free agents. Um, how much of that has to do with Carlos Silva being in, you know, uh, at the helm at this point? It seems like he's really sort of uh, boosted the promotion up a lot. 
Yeah, no, Collins is a great addition to the team, and uh, he does a tremendous job. And, you know, again, in terms of uh, the fighters' relations and what have you, that's something that uh, I deal with um, all the time. Um, you know, occasionally, calls, you know, if there's something that I need to discuss with Collins, he, he and I will, will make those decisions. Um, but, no, it's, his addition has been very positive. Now, I know you don't have the, you might not have the fight card in front of you here, but uh, World Series of Fighting 33, October 7th. What would you say is one fight that, that people are sort of overlooking on this card? Because, you know, it is pretty stacked with, you know, Justin Gaethje, David Branch, guys like that. It's, it's easy to sort of overlook all the fights. What, what's one on there that you're really happy with? Um, I'm pretty happy with the whole card, to be honest. Uh, you know, um, again, the names you've just named, that's on the main card. Justin, Dave, Jason High. Brian Foster, Luis Firmino, you know, Abu Bakr and John Howard, Sean Jordan, Ashley Gooch. I mean, you know, uh, Timor that's uh, headlining the um, uh, the prelims with Chris uh, Kateris. Uh, you know, again, another amazing fight. Uh, Baby Life and Jesse Brock, who's a new comer to World Series. Uh, but we expect, you know, we're looking forward to his uh debut because you know I've, hear, I've heard a lot of uh, positive things about Brock about Jesse Brock so uh, uh, Abu who fought uh, for the company in December I believe um, and then uh, Mike Grant who took a, a short notice fight you know he now he has a full camp so it'd be good to see some things from him Islam is you know we've seen him fight many uh, a few times and so um, and the list goes on. Uh, I think we've got some uh, a, a really good – well, actually, you know what? Uh, Bryce Mitchell um, is a young gun out of uh, Tennessee, and I think this kid is uh, – you know, I, I love his attitude. He's very positive, and uh, he just comes to fight. And So it will be interesting to see he goes up against Brandon Phillips, and they opened the, the fight card that night. So, uh, again, I'm very uh, happy with the card. I, I don't think – uh, I don't think anybody should overlook anyone because this whole card is stacked and uh, everybody, I think, is going to come and show up and fight. Let's talk about the main event here. you got Ozzy Dabulagov uh, taking on uh, Justin Gaethje. Uh, I think some people were wondering why Dabulagov and not Jason High for the title shot. What was sort of the reasoning behind that? What, what um, Ozzy have you know, not only have shown but also proven uh, and earned the right to actually fight for the title. Uh, he's just been out for a little bit. Um, to do some other issues, you know, family issues. But he was, you know, the number one contender um, before Jason High and Mike Ritchie fought for that spot. And so when he was set to go, you know, it was only fair and only right for us to uh, give him that opportunity. And obviously Jason High is, uh, um, will fight the winner out of those two guys. Yes, de- definitely, and it's nice to have those options. Uh, you know, as far as the next contender in line, um, how do you, how do you sort of see that fight playing out between Gaethje and Dubulgov? Uh, you know, like you said, the record for Dubulgov speaks for itself, and Gaethje just it doesn't seem like anyone can beat him at this point. Yeah, I mean, they're both uh, you know they're both gamers, they're both great fighters, and I I think you know I'd be very very surprised if I see the third round in this fight, um, or should I say the fourth round? Uh, you know, they're, they're both uh, gamers and they both come to fight and they both come to finish. So uh, I, like I said, I'll be very surprised if I see the fourth round. As a matter of fact, I'll be very surprised if I see the fifth round. Right. So, uh, and that being said, it's going to be an entertaining and exciting fight. Now you got David Branch taking on Vinny Magalesh. Uh, is the plan for Branch to stay at 205 pounds or would you like to see him drop to middleweight or is he going to do both? How do you sort of see that uh, handling? Uh, from my from what I understand is that uh, win or lose, uh, if he wins, he's gonna uh, relinquish the belt. If he loses, obviously that's gonna you know, then he'll focus on 85. And you know, I've heard from him too that 85 is his weight, and that he feels more comfortable there. Okay, interesting. And uh, we've also got a CES heavyweight champion Ashley Gooch signed the promotion. He's going to be taking on uh, another big signing that you guys had in Sean Jordan. Is it safe to say the winner of this fight will fight uh, heavyweight champion Blagoja Ivanov? Uh, it's very possible. It's very possible. I'm, you know, uh, we've seen uh, Sean Jordan many a times. I've I've only seen highlights of Ashley Gooch, uh, but the highlights that I have seen has been very positive, and he's he's a gamer himself. So. Um, you know, heavyweight, you, you never never know what you expect, and so and when you got big two big guys in there throwing bombs, one of them, you know someone's gonna go, it's gonna go. So um, I'll be surprised if that fight sees the the final bell. 
And speaking of Ivanov, when, when can we expect to see him back in the cage? It's, uh, you know, I think a lot of people are wondering when he's going to defend his title next. He's uh, scheduled for December 3rd. Oh, great. Okay. Against a, t- a t- to-be-determined opponent, or does he have an opponent? That, that is correct. It's oh. to-be-determined. Okay, great, great. And uh, Marlon Moraes, is he still a free agent, or is he someone that you guys are looking to lock up at this point? I know he's sort of one of the bigger free agents out there. Yeah, um, you know, that's a the topic that uh, I think, I'm, you know, uh, right now we, you know, we, we've had some talks with Marlon. It's very positive. But I think that's a question that, um, you know, only Marlon can answer in the, in the future to come. Um, you know, he, I, I believe he's on vacation with his family. So I think he'll make a decision when, that, uh, when he's back from vacation. Fair enough. Another t- TBA to be announced uh, on that one, too. Um, now, I'm up here in Canada, Toronto, Canada, to be exact. And uh, a guy that I know was on your roster, he was your former champion, Shlomio Rama. Uh, I have not heard a word about him. I've done my best to try and figure out what's happening. The last I heard is that he was in Greece. Um, is he still under contract with you guys? Uh, yes, he is. Matter of fact, he just signed a new full fight contract. Uh, oh, wow. Great. Okay. Yeah. And uh, he now resides uh, here in the U.S. Um and uh, he's looking to fight uh, real soon. Uh, I think we're, talking, we're thinking about November. Okay, great, great. That's good. That's good to hear. And another Canadian that's on your roster is Josh Hill. Um, you know, didn't uh, obviously came up short against uh, Marais in the rematch. Is he still under contract with you guys, or is he a free agent now? No, no, he's still under contract. Okay, great, great. Good to hear. Because, uh, yeah, Josh, I mean, we don't see too many Canadians in, in some of the other promotions, so I always like to kind of keep tabs on that. Um, I know you guys had World Series of Fighting Canada. That's not really a thing anymore. Is there any plans to come to Canada anymore? Because you guys had some pretty good shows when you were out in Edmonton. Right. Um, you, you know, uh, we we have talked about it, but there's no, you know, there's no confirmation on, on that, you know, topic yet. Uh, but... Um, Hopefully that, you know, Canada is part of, of the plans for 2017. Absolutely. And what about Mike Ricci? Any update on him at all? Uh, yes. Um, I, I believe he's finding some time, you know, in the next uh, two to three months. Okay, great. Uh, another card you have coming up here, World Series of Fighting 34, John Fitch against Jake Shields. That is going to be an amazing fight. The only thing I wanted to ask you, though, why is this happening the same night as UFC 205? Was that something that you guys had planned, or was this something that just was beyond your control? Well, when, okay, let's go back to half of that question. It was, okay, sure. it was planned uh, since mid year last year. Oh, gotcha, okay. You know, and so when we get our dates from NBC... Uh, we slot the fighters in and who's going to be main event, da 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 um, And so, uh, you know, and then we heard about the UFC happening in New York. Obviously, you know, sometimes, I mean, NBC is great. And sometimes we can, you know, move things around, but then sometimes we can't. And just, unfortunately, one of these times, you know, we can't. And so uh, this is the way we look at it. The fans win at the end of the day. Number one, uh, whoever can, you know, uh, afford to watch the pay-per-view, Tune in and watch watch that. Otherwise, you can watch, you know, uh, which is a funny on on free TV. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, they they do have the option there. Um, what about start times? Is, is that going to be uh, you know your usual time, or are you going to maybe make it earlier or later just to accommodate the UFC? Or what what are you sort of looking at as far as has that been established yet? Um, I believe uh, I think we we go an hour ahead of the UFC that yeah that day. Gotcha. All right, my last question for you here. I also know you have a show on New Year's uh, slated in New York, I believe. Um, any any update on that at all? Any anyone you, we can expect to see on that card? Uh, well, one hundred percent. Well, I should say one hundred percent. But right now, you know, obviously Justin Gaethje is gonna um, is gonna be well and healthy after the the Aussie fight. Um, and right now, he's the headliner for that card. Great. Okay. And um, and most likely, most likely to be either uh, David Branch or Marlon Moraes uh, as co-main event. Awesome. Well, we certainly look forward to that. We certainly look forward to World Series of Fighting 33 coming up here on October 7th. Ray, I can't thank you enough for joining me here on the program. Uh, just remind my audience where they can get a hold of you on social media. And if you got any thank yous or shout outs, the floor is yours. Thank you. Um, you'll find me on Twitter, Ray at... Uh, Oh, uh, sorry. Sugar. <laughs> What's Twitter again? Yeah, it's Sh- Sh- Sugar Ray Sefo. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, and then Instagram is the same, Sugar Ray Sefo. 
um, and pretty much, uh, you know, just keep an eye out uh, for October 7th, live on NBC Sports uh, from uh, uh, Kansas City. So uh, in terms of thanks, obviously, to fans and you guys, the media, uh, nothing but love and respect for you guys. Um, you have, you know, you obviously help um, with the, the growth of the sport. So thank you. And uh, uh, all the worst to the funny fans. Thank you so much for all your love and support.